Right, Salty. He's doing the scene from Heat, and um, he needed someone to read with him, so I'm gonna read with him. I know the, I know the scene real well. I was in the movie. <clears throat> Good luck, Vaughn. <coughs> Seven years in San Quentin, in the hole, in the hole for three. McNeil before that. Yeah. Was McNeil as tough as they say? <laughs> Did you try to become a podiatrist or something, man? You looking to go back, huh? I chased some crews. The guys were looking to fuck up and get busted. Go back. Mm. You must have worked some dipshit crews. <laughs> <laughs> I worked all kinds. Ah, uh, okay. Do I look like the type to have thrill seeker liquor store hold us with a Born to Lose chat to in my chest? Check it out now. What's, what's no. no. No? Okay, good. No, I do not see it. All right. Because I'm never going back. No. Then don't take down scores. I'm going to do what I do best. I'm going to take down scores. And you are going to do what you do best, which is try to stop guys like me. <laughs> you never wanted a normal type of life? A normal type, a normal type, what the fuck is a normal type of life? Barbecue and baseball games? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Yeah. Is that what you have? You have this normal type of life? My life? Your life, yes. No, crazy. No, my life. My, my life. My life's a fucking disaster zone. I got a, I got a stepdaughter so fucked up <clears throat> because her father's a, I don't know, a large type of fucking asshole. I got a wife We're passing each other in the hallway on the downslope of a marriage, my third, because I spend all my time chasing uh, guys like you around the block. That's my life. Yeah, <laughs> That's not... A wise guy told me once, he said, never get attached to something you can't walk away from in 30 seconds when you feel the heat around the corner. So if you live in this normal type of love and have this marriage, how the fuck are you gonna make a move when I make a move? That's an interesting point. That's a, what are you, a monk? <laughs> I'm he not a monk, one. no, I, I have a woman. You have a woman? I have a woman. What do you tell her? She thinks I sell swimming pools. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs because this is snicker. So, uh, all right. Yeah. So then, uh, you spot me around the corner. You're just gonna walk out and say goodbye. Um, that's the discipline. Whoa. Ask Tommy, do you know about discipline? That's pretty vacant. Fine, ask him. Do you know about discipline? That's pretty vacant. Ask him again. Do we can find so fucking scared shit. That's vacant. Do you know about discipline? I said ask him again. Do you know about discipline? That's vacant. It so is what weak. it is. Tommy does it not is respect what it that. Is. Do you guys get what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe you and me should just do something else. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know how to do nothing else. You know I'm, a, like I'm, I'm a cop. <laughs> I'm a cop. Well, I don't know how to do nothing else either. I don't want I don't want to do nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Neither do I. <clears throat> you know, um, I have this recurring dream. Listen to me. I, I'm, I'm sitting at this big banquet table, and all the victims of all the murders I ever investigated <clears throat> I ever worked on there. They're sitting at the table and they're, and they're, they're sitting there and, and they're staring at me. They're staring at me. These these uh, these, these black eyeballs. These these, these big blow up people. And they, they, they got these eight ball hemorrhages from the head wounds, where some cocksucker blew their head open. And and there they are. And these big balloon people. That used to love each other and you know. Do things and and there they are. But like balloons, because um, I found them two weeks after some cocksucker like you blew their head open. <clears throat> and there they are. And the neighbors reported the smell. And there they are. They're just sitting there, looking at me. 
And what did they say? Nothing. No talk? Nothing Is at all? No talk. No. <laughs> no, just, um, you know, they ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> they got nothing to say, yeah. you know? We just look at each other. They, look at, it, they, they, they look at me, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I look at them, mm. and that's it. Mm. That's my dream. I have a dream too. Yeah? Yeah. I'm drowning. I'm drowning, I gotta get out of water. Mm -hmm. And start breathing. I'm not gonna go nowhere. I'm not gonna live. What a great sight. You know what that's about? Yeah. It's about me running out of time. Out of time? Yeah. To do what you wanna do? Yes, to do what I wanna do. Hmm. You doing it now? No, I'm not doing it now. I'm not doing anything. You're not? You know, we're sitting here, you and me. Here, you and I, we're talking like we're a couple of regular fellas, you know, we're not, you know. You do what you do. You do what you do, and I do what I I do what I gotta do. Mm -hmm. Now, oh, now that we've been face scary. to face, if I'm there, if I'm there, and I gotta get you out of my way, I won't like it. But I'm gonna tell you something. If it's between you and some poor bastard whose wife you're gonna turn into a brother, to a widow, brother, you are gonna be dead, and you are going down. Okay? You are going down. I heard you the first time. Okay. <laughs> See, as a flip side to the cool. <laughs> What's that? Because if you have me boxed in, I'm going to put you down. Mm -hmm. And I will not hesitate for one second to do it. Maybe. So, yeah, we met face to face. Sure. But there is no way in hell that I will let you get in my way. Whoa. Maybe that's the way it'll be. Yeah. Or who knows? See, we'll just be just Maybe we'll never see each other again. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't want to meet Tom in the middle of the night. Do it again? Yeah. <laughs> God, God damn it. it. Wow! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yeah, you want to do it one more time? Yes, yeah. Yeah, let's do it again. What do you think? All right, let's go. So here's the deal, motherfuckers. What did I teach you? What? S what? Situational training. Can Vaughn get hired? De Niro shows up for every fucking audition. Tom can tell you. Looking at De Niro in the face is scary. This is your ass, Vaughn. <laughs> Tommy's going, I'm not sure about that motherfucker. I don't know if he can handle it. Got it, buddy? So it's called a chemistry situational training, buddy. Make Vaughn hurt. Action. Seven years in San Quentin. Look at Tommy. In the hole for three. He hides his anger. McNeil. That's not good. Before that. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, was McNeil as tough as they say? <laughs> yeah, you just come become a penologist or anything, man? What's that? You trying to become a penologist? No. No? Are you looking to go back? Because <laughs> I chased some crews. The guys were looking to fuck up. They get busted. They go back. Yeah, you must have worked some dipship crews. I worked all kinds. Do I look like the type to just hold up liquor stores with a born and lose tattoo on my chest? Do I look like that to you? No. <laughs> all right, good. Cause I am never going back. Really? Yeah, really. God, he's so. Then don't take down scores. I'm gonna do what I do best. I'm gonna take down scores. And you are gonna do what you do best, which is try to stop guys like me. <laughs> so, um. What I teach you? So Neil, you never wanted a normal type of life. A normal type of life. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Barbecue and baseball games? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that what you have? My, my life? Yeah, your life. No, no. no. My, 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 my life's a disaster zone. Your life is a disaster? Yeah, I got a stepdaughter. I got a stepdaughter who's so fucked up because her father's a real large type asshole never talks to her. I got a wife. <laughs> we pass each other in the hallway. I'm on the downslope of a marriage at my third because I spend all my time chasing guys like you around the block. And um, 
fuck it, that's my life. Fuck it, that's your life, yeah. Mm -hmm. Why would the fuck would I want that shit? A guy told me once, he said, never get attached to something that you can't walk away from in 30 seconds when you feel the heat around the corner. Mm -hmm. So if you live in this normal type of life and you gotta chase a guy like me and move when I move, why the fuck would I want that normal type of life? Now, if you're on, Why would I want that marriage? Now, now, if you're on me and you gotta move when I move, how do you expect to keep a marriage? Yeah, if you're on me and you gotta move when I move, how the hell do you expect hey, to keep a marriage? Sure, tell you to do something. You think <clears throat> um, that's an interesting point. Mm -hmm. So, what are you? Um, you don't fuck? You a monk? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a woman, thank you very much. Oh, so you I fuck, fuck huh? Yes, yeah, I do fuck. fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> More than you, apparently, with that marriage. You know? <laughs> so what do you tell him? Oh, shit. I tell him I'm a salesman. A salesman? A salesman, yeah. Okay. Okay. So then if... I fuck the, I fuck, fuck the women. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this. So, so then if, if, if you spot me around the corner, wow. you're just gonna... You're just gonna... What? Wow. what walk out on her? Yeah. You love her? You gonna say goodbye? Wow. Never tell her? Really just walk? Right? Say goodbye. That's the discipline. That's what you call it? That's what I call it, the dis discipline, yes. I think that's pretty vacant. Well, it is what it is. Wow. Is that, or we go do something better that we want to do, pal? I don't know how to do nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> and neither do I. And I don't want to do nothing else. I mean, do I? Tell Tommy how close you guys are. Well, you know, you know, I have this recurring dream. You know, I'm Me sitting too. at this big banquet table, and all the victims of all the murders I ever worked, and I've worked thousands of them. And all the victims of the murders I've worked, they're all sitting at this table. Bond with Tommy. And, and they're Bond staring at me with these big black eyeballs. <laughs> big black eyeballs, because they got eight ball hemorrhages <laughs> from, the, from the shotgun blast that blew their heads off big holes in their head, and, and there they are, these wow. big balloon people wow. that used to be people. Go to ball games and barbecues and make love and have kids and, you know. Yeah, they have lives. Go on vacation and uh, pick up their kids from school, and I find them, these balloon people, two weeks after they've been hidden under the bed, the neighbors reported there's a bad smell coming from next door. And I walk in. And they're sitting there. And what do they say? Nothing. They don't say nothing? There's no talk at all? They're enough? dead. You killed them. No, that, they ain't got nothing to say. Push Tommy, Vaughn. We just look at each other. Push they Tommy. They look at me, mm -hmm. and, and that's it. Yeah. That's my that's Find it Tommy's okay. kryptonite. I have one where I'm drowning. No, it's I not have about one I, I'm... it's about him. Look at Tommy's face, Vaughn. Find his kryptonite. Tell him you're hurting, aren't you? You're hurting, aren't you? No. You are. You're no. hurting. I want to put you back in prison, that's it. Yeah, well, or I kill you. you. One of the two. Because yeah, it's something that you have to do with your life. Maybe that didn't work. No, you, you kill innocent people. You kill Mr. Smith. Yeah. For money. You're a piece of shit. I mean, for real. I understand, but you're walking away from this life. You that shoot you people have, that ain't got no. Mean. You shoot people that don't know they're gonna get shot. Well, you and you take it out on come me. Off, come on, come on, the guy that like me. I understand. Come get me. I understand what you're saying. Come and get me. But your life is fucked up, so you take it out on fucked up guys Fuck like me. Fuck my life. Fuck your life, indeed. Fuck yes. my life. But your life I'm is fucked up. I'm not letting you kill Mr. Smith. I'm Mr. Kill Smith, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, and if you doesn't have a gun. I'm gonna kill you too. And you keep on running things like that. You know, we're sitting here, you and I, like a couple of regular fellas. Yes, we are. Now back off. All right. You do what you do, mm -hmm. and I do what I do. Wow. Now yeah, we've been face awesome. to face. If I'm there, wow. <laughs> and you're there, this is real. you will not get in my way. Please you will not get in my way. I tell you this, man. If it's between you and some fat fucker named Mr. Smith, whose wife you're going to turn into a brother, brother, I'm going to kill your fucking ass. You are going down. There's a flip side to that fucking coin, because if you got me boxing, I will kill your ass. I will put you down first. And I don't give a fuck if we met first and face, because no matter what, you're not getting my way. 
I would not hesitate for one second. You ain't nothing but a thief, man. You ain't shit. And you ain't nothing but somebody chasing after me. You ain't shit. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe that's the way it'll be. Who knows? Yeah, maybe we'll never see each other again. Who Let's hope knows? so. Let's hope so. I'll pay for the coffee. Thank you. God damn. <laughs> 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 I really thought you were going to get killed. Really? Yeah, I'll be all right. Tommy's a movie. You'll never go okay with Tommy. I, I keep telling you guys, don't beat your chest. Everybody thought Tommy was going to be Tommy. No, Tommy pulled a sympathy card. Cry, motherfucker. All right, let's play some music and figure out what we're going to do next. Okay, guys?